When we rose, the sun was rising, our direction came from morning light. This is no idle minds uprising, we have braved the darkest night. From here we'll take that other road of journeys great on unknown trails, Refresh beyond the spirits of history, deeply drink from wisdom's grails. Turns and heights a long and lonely journey lies ahead of us. Into a dawn of new beginnings and a new abiding trust, it glimmers well beyond the sunset, beyond every fear and man-made wall. Knowing well a new dawn's waiting, the clarity of our clarion call, the invocation of a new beginning and an equal light for all. <clears throat> My next offering to you is a poem called Mitti. I come from a village on a river in Haryana and every chief minister takes one canal from my river. Up to my village, the, the Yamuna is cold, clean, uh, sweet, delicious and then it comes here and becomes a sewage system. So we are running out of water for farming. We have to move to other vocations. I have come from farming to poetry. <coughs> I gave you the green revolution from just two acres of land. You have left me with a wallpaper of election posters and two acres of sand. Now where shall I go from here if not to poetry? Do you know uh, every one from Haryana has a surname, Singh, Amit Singh, Sher Singh, Ran Singh, Veer Singh. Uh, I'm told it's because we're supposed to be brave on the battlefield. That might be, but there's another reason. It is that none of us can sing. <laughs> but when we feel like singing, we always sing and no one dares stop us. That takes courage. So here's a poem that can be sung. It's important to write some poems that can be sung because they will outlive you. The others may as well, you know, go up and smoke with you. <coughs> Mitti. Gharum se jab nikle to khet bik chuke the Gharum se jab nikle to khet bik chuke the पानी के दाने सारे रुक चुके थे कुल्हाड़ी के नीचे बाग झुक चुके थे मेरी नीली नहर और मैं चले दिल्ली जहां नदियां थी सूखी बोतल थी गीली थोड़ी सी मिली थी तो मैंने भी पी ली नशा जब वो आया तो ऐसा आया पैसा ही पैसा इमानत बकाया सुना है ये तूफान गुड़गांवा भी आया जहां होता था आम और होता था जामुन जहां होता था आम और होता था जामुन तोता होता था और होता था ब्राह्मण परिंदों का कलरव गुरुओं का राग बाजरे की रोटी चलाई का साग माना हाईवे से बेहतर नहीं होती पगडंडी mana highway se behtar nahi hoti pagdandi aur jamun se mol ki chhaya hai thandi lekin mali ki chori bike paison ki mandi sun le sun le sun le sun le gudgaon ke raja aur rani ye teri meri mitti ki hai kahani teri aankhon mein aayega खेतों का पानी घरों से जब निकले तो खेत बिक चुके थे पानी के दाने सारे रुक चुके थे कुल्हाड़ी के नीचे बाग झुक चुके थे पैसे के आगे हम सब बिक चुके थे पैसे के आगे हम सब बिक चुके थे came to Delhi, great city, Delhi, where every twisting, turning, winding lane tells growing tales of mystery. 
where any piece of fallen stone could be a piece of broken history, where empires forged in blood and steel have stayed as saffron scent on kitchen air, where the paradox is everywhere of an imperial city with the flavors of a village, where a pavement dweller pretends to tell you what your life holds and his caged parrot picks your chances, where a street urchin steals only the tune from your car stereo and dances, where there is still shade enough for shadeful glances, and where a true love still waits to be found with just four lines of good poetry, Delhi. <laughs> But Delhi is also a place of great iniquities and mysteries. And one of the mysteries to me is, whose, whose republic is this? I find everyone claiming uh, and wanting to lead us. My parents were both freedom fighters. And there should be a law against two freedom fighters marrying each other, because this is what you get. <laughs> um, the poem is called, Whose Republic? The cat and the bat and the crow and the rat have taken the city. The cat and the bat and the crow and the rat are taking my city. Insomnia rules the night and fear of the siren and the flasher rule the day. And that broad promised highway into the future is taken up by the motorcades of the politician, the shaker and mover, the power broker, the wheeler dealer, the spin doctor and the troubleshooter leaving only a tiny lane for we the people to navigate our way precariously ahead. In 64 years, we the people have been broken and tamed. The have-nots have been bought with, with false promises. The haves have been bought with tax loopholes. The middle class is ritually slitting its own throat upon the sharp edge of the credit card. And the last of the freedom fighters are breathing bravely on life support systems. And we, the children of the Satyagrahis, we are doubly damned and doubly doomed. For we have not learned to look the other way or turn the other cheek. So shoot me thrice when my time comes. Once in the gut to balance the pain of so much hunger and unequal living. Once in the heart, for it was a fickle thing and always too easily broken. And once in the head, for always thinking the impossible and making it happen. Mm. One of the lovely things about coming to Delhi is uh, the discovery of uh, the language Urdu. There's no way you can come to Delhi and not discover Urdu. It's on the monuments, it's on people's tongues, it's, it's everywhere, it's beautiful. I can't read a word of it, but so I write my Rom Urdu poetry in Roman script, uh, because my own language, Jato, doesn't have a script at all. So I also write Hindi and Roman sometimes when I'm worked up. Urdu, the script Urdu. Night stars impaled on black buck horns. Night stars impaled on black buck horns. The crescent curve of moon, sand dune, the sharpness of acacia thorns. Of these, the script Urdu born. Oh, how the marsh reed celebrates every drop of wetness in the ink. Long flowing strokes and hesitates to contemplate and pause to think. They say that wisdom is the journey's wage upon the ivory prairie trail of vanished herds. The pen caravans across the desert page, bearing the fruit and shade of chosen words. <clears throat> Bhiksha, Bhiksha, what is begging? You see it everywhere. I do not become a beggar when I invite you to open the granary of your heart. You do not become a giver and I am no taker when a small handful of food changes hands. Instead, when your fingers curl into a small cup of giving and my hand folds into a large bowl of receiving, we form a yantra of sacred sharing, a perfect mudra of two imperfect parts. When a single rice grain performs that long journey between us, it ends the famine between our souls, these empty, aching, and hungry hearts.
Many kinds of terror to be experienced in Delhi. All terror doesn't come from planes and buildings, guns and bombs, men with beards and strange accents. There is the terror of the rice tin. It is the terror of the young woman who married for love, but it did not last six years. But the children kept coming every year until the day he finally left. Now there is terror in the second week of the month when she reaches into her rice tin and her cup comes up half empty and her children's eyes accuse her of marrying for love. There's a poem, um, Terror of the Songbird. It is the terror of the songbird confiscated from a pet shop to be released by Menaka Gandhi before the media in the park. The tiny songbird desperately craves return to the safety of its cage, for it has seen something that has escaped the eye of the innocent politician. The entire ceremony is taking place beneath a great silk cotton tree. On its highest branch sits a sparrowhawk, waiting to feast upon the tiny songbird's political freedom. <clears throat> my grandmother lived in Delhi. This poem is for her, my nani. Her house was flooded with sparrows. Now I haven't seen a sparrow there for 28 years. 28 years. Poem's called Chidiya. Nani ke chidiya aati thi, piyali se pani piti thi, thali se dana khati thi, phur padho usko batlaati thi. Nani ke ghar ki rana kaisi thi? Kaun aata tha, kaun jata tha, kya laata tha, kya kaata tha? Chidiya sab batlaati thi. गांव से नानी का दोता आया घी और गुड़ और गन्ना लाया पड़ोस को गुली डंडा सिखलाया पड़ोसी का जब शीशा तोड़ा हाथ जोड़कर नाता जोड़ा अगले दिन फिर शीशा तोड़ा नानी के चिड़िया आती थी प्याली से पानी पीती थी थाली से दाना खाती थी फुर पड़ोस को बतलाती थी नानी के घर की रौनक कैसी थी कौन आता था कौन जाता था क्या लाता था क्या कहता था चिड़िया सब बतलाती थी सहारनपुर से दमाद आया जेल से अपनी पेंशन लाया हरिद्वार से मंत्र लाया रुड़की से एक यंत्र लाया मुजफ्फरनगर से फल लाया मेरठ से रेवड़ी लाया और ठाठ से 26 जनवरी दिखलाया नानी के चिड़िया आती थी प्याली से पानी पीती थी थाली से दाना खाती थी फुर पड़ोस को बतलाती थी नानी के घर की रौनक कैसी थी कौन आता था कौन जाता था क्या लाता था क्या कहता था चिड़िया सब बतलाती थी अब गौर फरमाएं चिड़िया को हुआ क्या it's not the microwave towers, it's not the agriculture, it's something else. Phir naya kanu ne kaya, nani ne jab ghar banaya, chhat ko bas des foot par paaya. Jhaad aur jangal kut gaye thhe, sare gaj jab bat gaye thhe. Chidiya nani ke rehne ko aai, saath uska chidda aaya. Pankhe ke katore mein ghar banaya. Pankhe ke patte dhai foot par rukte hain. Nain sofi ki peet teen foot par rukti hai. बीच की हवा साढ़े चार फुट की होती है बिल्ली की छलांग छः फुट की होती है दिल्ली की बिल्ली जब आई चिड़िया बन गई मुंह में मलाई अब नानी के चिड़िया नहीं आती अब नानी के गुण नहीं गाती अब नानी के कोई नहीं आता सुना है कोई शेर गुजरता है यहाँ से सुना है कोई शेर गुजरता है यहाँ से कि पानी पे हिरन खड़े हैं प्यासे संध्या के अनहद में कोई पत्ता बोला है दो आँखों के तराजू ने हिरनों को तोला है शेर और हिरण की तकदीरें मिली हैं कि दोनों को गुत कर कुदरत ने लिखी हैं संध्या का केसर अमावस्य का काजल शेर की शायरी करे जंगल को पागल हवन कुंड आँखों में मृगनैन पाए दर्पण अपनी ही आहुति का ब्रह्मांड में समर्पण हिरण की कुर्बानी पे शेर कुर्बान इस भयानक सुंदरता की जय हो भगवान सुना है कोई शेर गुजरता है यहाँ से कि पानी पे हिरण खड़े हैं प्यासे
As God's great creature, the tiger is doomed to extinction, and before he goes, fades into oblivion, he will write his will. And this is the last will of the tiger. When you have stolen my skin from my entity, and remove the roar from my life, O hunter, wield that skinning knife with some grace, a little skill. For I too have hunted and killed many, many, many times, but every kill was a prayer and praise of the Creator. My movements were always quick, clean, merciful, such is the way of true believers. But do you now, hunter, slice, slash, and cut clean? I pray only that you leave no part of me behind, to be eaten by the jackal and the hyena. For I have ruled this forest on behalf of the Creator himself, and there is no honor in a king becoming carrion. So take the sacred color from my coat, send it back to the maker of sunsets. So take the sacred color from my coat, send it back to the maker of sunsets. Take the darkness of my stripe and return it to the shadow and the undergrowth, for that is where it was obtained. Take the white from the fur of my belly and send it back to a new ice age that it returned to avenge me. Send my roar back to my maker, that he fill the heavens with my rage at this shabby end for a true king ordained by God himself. Send my claws to the young of the rich and the highborn to save them from their own nightmares. Send my teeth to Tibet that their aspirations for freedom find new teeth. Send my bones to China, that they find a cure for the fear that builds such great walls. Send my fat to Singapore, that they learn to make a balm that is mine not merely a name. Send my shit to the alchemists, for that is the only substance they have not yet tried in their efforts to invent gold. Give my entrails to whoever shall have them, but hang on to my eyes, you puny murderer that your tribe might know that you did not fell a creature beneath you, that I looked you in the eye and did not flinch when you shot me. Instead, I am turned away, released from the cancer of your footprint. Mm. Thank you. Thank you.